Good morning and welcome to today's reflection. It's Tuesday, the 21st of November. There's a pub in Higham near Nelson in Lancashire, which is called the Four Alls. The name is said to come from a 19th century proverb along the lines of the king rules for all, the priest prays for all, the soldier fights for all, and the common man pays for all. To Methodist people, however, the four alls may be better known as an outline of the Christian gospel, as understood and preached by John Wesley, and formulated in 1903 by W. B. Fitzgerald in his book The Roots of Methodism. All need to be saved. All may be saved, all may know they are saved, all may be saved to the uttermost. I wonder how far you think that is an adequate statement of Christian doctrine for the times in which we live. Does it resonate with you as a statement of the timeless truths in which you were nurtured, perhaps as a cradle Methodist? Or does his language sound quaint and dated with words like saved and uttermost, meaning little to today's culture? And might it even sound arrogant and exclusive with its talk of people knowing that they are saved? Or is it in fact radically inclusive with its repeated use of the word all? If you'd like to eavesdrop on my thoughts about this, keep listening. If you're not bothered, just switch off and do something else instead. But before you go, let me just ask one question. If you dismiss Wesley's vision as irrelevant to our times, what alternative would you propose to sustain hope for the future? Few would deny that globally we live in perilous times. I heard a young mother on the radio recently saying that she was terrified, her word, terrified, for the future of her children. And we know well what the issues are which fuel her fears, locally and globally. So what hope can you offer to her? The popular television comedy Dad's Army illustrates a range of responses to impending crises. Private Godfrey often asks to be excused, but that's not an option for us in real life. Private Fraser is apt to proclaim loudly, we're doomed, we're all doomed, in a despairing acceptance of their fate. Captain Mannering, then perhaps seizing on a suggestion from the unlikely source of the juvenile private Pike, responds, That's a very good idea, Pike. I was just about to suggest that myself. Yet somehow, by a variety of means, in all 80 episodes recorded and the two spin-off films, hope is always restored. The essentials of a good story are characters in which we feel invested, a setting in which there is a problem to be cracked or a crisis to be averted, and an ending in which everything is resolved satisfactorily. The storylines of Dad's Army illustrate these elements, and I suggest that the overarching biblical narrative, encompassing as it does the entire human story, does the same. I do believe that if we dig a bit deeper into Wesley's Four Alls, we will find there a hope for the future of humanity and indeed for the whole of creation, which can be found nowhere else. Of course, the whole salvation story cannot be told in just a slogan, but slogans can be signposts to direct us to where we can find, as the hymn writer Thomas Chisholm puts it, strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. All need to be saved, all may be saved, all may know they are saved, all may be saved to the uttermost. Join me again, if you will, for reflections on each of these phrases in turn, starting on Monday the 4th of December, when we'll try to see whether the first, all need to be saved, has any meaning for us in today's world. Meanwhile, Let us pray. 
Loving Lord Jesus, we recall your kindness to those whose faith was small and hesitant, and so is ours for much of the time. Help us to see it is not the size of our faith, but the greatness of God in whom we trust, which helps us to pray with confidence. So hear us and have mercy upon us. In the name of Jesus. Amen.